Hi, this is Steven. In this tutorial, I want to show you guys how to set up image planes in Maya 2016. Image planes are used as modeling references, usually from like sketches of a top, front, and side view or a schematic. They're very helpful in modeling and they're very easy to set up. You just go to the panel view. Once you have your schematic, and you go to your image, import image and you bring it in and there there it is. Uh, you will have to position it and kind of position it in relationship to the other views and I'll show you how to do that. But to, let's go ahead in each view and uh, go ahead and import our image. I know that was off screen, same deal as before. And let's go here, view, import image. All right, so we have the three imported. I'm going to go ahead and scale off three of these. You don't have to do this. I just like, I don't really know why I do that, but uh, it's not necessary. I, I feel like the plane's bigger than three units. It's a psychological thing. All right, and uh, I also want to go ahead and send them back in each axis. Notice you don't see the grid lines. I'm gonna select that and this you know, we're looking you know down we're looking in the y direction so I'm going to send this back to negative 100 and y so as you see the grid lines and look at the perspective view it's out of the way go ahead and do that in the side view as well this one we're going to send it down to z and the last one we're going to send it down the x okay so they're not lined up so we need to line up these and I want to move this plane so it's over the uh, y origin line, uh, so y axis. So I'm going to select that and just pull that the best I can. Just eyeballing this. This isn't super precise, but do do the best you can. And I've got. I'm going to copy this value here, 2.428. Copy that. I'm going to go down to the top view click on it and put this in the Y value that 2.428 and what it's going to want to do is going to shift it over and then we're going to pull this one up so it's sitting on the uh, X axis All right. and at this point I'm going to put in a throw in a few reference objects that will be helpful in a minute uh, while we do our last one I just created a cube and I'm going to, I'm using the shortcut keys here to move this around and I'm going to duplicate this and then I'm going to go to the top view and do the same. I'm going to duplicate that, bring it to the front of the airplane, to the back of the airplane. I'm also going to take these and kind of send them back to kind of the tips. All right, and this might help us a little bit while we're doing our last one here. So we have the nose here. We need this nose here. So let's let's see if we can rotate this first. I'm gonna hit the E, and okay, I'm rotating this. Looks like it's gonna be negative 90, zero, negative 90. Okay, and then we'll pull this up until the nose just does hit there All right. and uh, it's not the back of that engine but it, the plane goes up more, more. so that, that's about it uh, as long as this is sitting pretty close to the uh, ground here uh, and there will be imperfections um, like this, the, the runway slanted a little bit. Uh, in the next tutorial, I'm going to start modeling and I'll, I'll give a few suggestions on how you might treat some of these small discrepancies between image planes. And the, the big thing is if it looks right, it's right. This isn't going to be sent to the manufacturer, your model, to be produced. This is, this is for visualization, right? So uh, we don't need these anymore and our image planes are set up.